This video is for Aquarius Sun Signs. This is your energy forecast for April 2018. Welcome and greetings. Thank you for tuning in and watching Medium Tarot TV channel. My name is Edward, your soul messenger host, psychic medium, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest the life that is soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. There's not much light as I film this, but the show must go on, right? All right, so we're going to suggest that you watch the main video first, which is titled April 2018, All Signs Let Me Live. So that video, which is considered the main video, the theme healing song, this video and the complete series of videos for the 12 Zodiac, Sun Signs is going to be on link timeline on our website, link below, not bad. Link below if you're watching on YouTube, or as of actually, as of April 1st, reinstated the 12, 12 links for the 12 zodiac signs on the website, so you could just go to link Aquarius as well, okay? All right, so let's jump right in. Busy month, eventful month once again. Starting with Mercury Retrograde. The main period is March 22nd through April 15th. We have as our weak influence at the time, as of March 22nd, endings, letting go, letting things be, the influence of things that were no longer energetically serving us. And that was definitely the theme for March 2018. We have as our day energy problems, which I saw this as basically a period of blessing in disguise because the universe was going to let us know what was no longer energetically working for us or serving us. And you receive the energy of commitment first. First, let's just go there. Commitment. So March twenty second through April fifteenth. You are figuring out, in essence, where you're going to place your time and your energy. Who is following through, who is not. Or even, you might just do a review as of prior, say January, February, 2018, as an example. Who was holding their weight, who was not, who was following through, who was not, and then knowing forward as of April 15th and beyond with who or where or how you're going to place your time and your energy, your focus, your attention. Okay? Excuse me. Perhaps you might take, you know, some time off during this Mercury retrograde period. It might be called for. If you end up feeling uneasy or uncomfortable in your own skin, then that's obviously an issue that needs to be addressed. You can do it behind closed doors, but don't ignore it, okay? All right. In essence, I would say do not make this time period more difficult than it has to be by fighting or having too much resistance. I know, it's easier said than done, but I'm still going to say it. All right. Let's move on to the Libra full moon. Take out that energy for you. Okay, the Libra full moon, which was uh, actually occurred on March 31st, 2018, the second full moon of March, the blue moon of March, though we're going to feel it the strongest the week of March 28th through April 3rd, though by the time this video is being filmed and uploaded, it's on the late side, so odds are when you watch this, it'll be reflecting back or reviewing back. So that this week, March 28th through April 3rd, triggers the Pisces new moon week of March 14th through March 20th which I felt was a pivotal week of March. So we had as our weak energy, thoughts of aggravation and or strife, or joy rapture, 
we have as our day energy, which really is the key, inner GPS system, inner calm, inner guidance system, connecting with the higher self, meditating, the positive application of the psychic insight theme for this Libra full moon, the positive application of the energy is clearing of the air, negotiations, reconciliations, arrangements, agreements being made, had, the not so positive energy, second guessing ourselves, self-doubt, doubting ourselves, and the energy that you receive has to do with the past, past influences. So, you know, this that week, March 28th through April 3rd, still falls within the Mercury retrograde period. So this week, March 28th through April 3rd, it's extremely possible that you will have someone pop up from your past. If they've already passed, you can dream about them. They can pop up in your meditation. They could be the influence of a lesson that you learn from them or an issue that's involved with them. Could very likely pop up because that's always the that's always the possibility during Mercury retrograde and you have the energy of the past, so it's doubly so for you. Just keep this in mind. It's a reflection, it's a review. Yeah, okay, it's not a punishment. You, in essence, will find out about your core values and see if you resonate with them anymore. Could be from childhood, could be from past lives, if that's something you resonate with, that you brought over to this life, but at least from childhood, okay? All right, let's move on. I'm going to move on to the Aries New Moon. Take out that energy for you. All right, Aries New Moon, April 15th. We're going to feel it the strongest, the week, New Moon week of April 12th through the 18th. This is the beginning of the new Zodiac year, 2018. According to my calculations, I'm going by a lunar cycle, not a solar cycle. Good old planet Mercury goes direct on April 15th as well. We're going to look at that next. So we have as our week energy and day energy, same energy, the beginning stages of the element of fire, the spark of life, the spark of divinity within us all. Namaste. Indeed. Opportunity. Much more is possible now. April 15th, moving forward. Energetic spring has sprung. The energy of spring, which is forward movement, begins once again. I have to say energetic spring because technically spring started around March 20th. Here in the States, in the other side of the globe, you're working with autumn energy, but I do feel that spring and autumn energy aligns very nicely, actually. We have as our psychic insight theme for the Aries New Moon, very nice energy. Beneficial, reciprocal energy, the art of giving and receiving. It might be the art of allowing for you as well, particularly having to do with relationships, which since this, the energy that you received also could be living space, could also involve roommates. Hmm. Co-workers, hmm. there's only so much we can do with co-workers unless we have our own business. Then this, that's definitely accounts is included in the mix here. So, you receive the same energy for the Aries New Moon as you did for Taurus 2018, which we're going to look into shortly. It's the energy of relationships and or living space. So, this is why, excuse me, this is why I went with the energy, the name of the video, the energy of your month, Emotional Fulfillment, because you are consciously or subconsciously working on having emotional fulfillment with your relationships. It can be love romance, of course, but it can just be balancing things out so things are in everyone's, everyone's um, 
Faber that's concerned in the relationship. So it's not just them, it's not just you, it's both parties. That's really why I'm seeing this month as emotional fulfillment for you. You're working on that this month, which is wonderful. So, if you want a relationship, it looks very good, actually, for you to have a relationship. So, we're talking basically April 12th through May 19th. A relationship can definitely enter your life. Of course, we have to be open to it. Open heart. That energy we're going to be discussing for the Scorpio for Moon later on in the month. We have to be available. We have to show up. Be present. And you know, that depends on if you want a relationship or not. That's what it really depends on. Or perhaps you just want to enhance the relationship that you're already in. Or have better relations with friends or roommates or co-workers. It's going to mean different things for different people. But it's a very nice energy. And then there's a the living space. Do you want to move? Whether you want to move, well, if you want to move, I would say make sure that you know, you're saving your money to have the money you need to move. You can start scouting locations or doing research online, whether you're, you know, physically ready to move or not this month, April. You can start the energetic ball rolling, letting the universe know that you're serious. And definitely, for all of you, whether you want to move or not, doing some feng shui anytime between April 12th and May 19th. Doing some feng shui, you know, looking at each room and checking out the energy. And you can do it on a budget. You don't have to spend a lot of money. But is the color proper for the mood that you want in that particular room? The energy? A quick a real quick and easy tip to put color and some aromatherapy is a really nice aromatherapy scented candle. Okay? That's if you happen to be in candles and aromatherapy like I am. Or you can get a diffuser with some oils. Essential oils. Okay. So, since this week is connected to Taurus 2018, so the week of April 12th through the 18th, I would say is a wonderful time, sooner as opposed to later, so this week, find out if you are truly available for the type of relationship that you want to have, what's going to make you happy. Not the other person, not other people, what you want. You want an open relationship? So be it. You want a monogamous relationship? So be it. Whatever you want is proper for you. Okay? Figure it out or allow, or allow yourself to figure it out this week, April 12th through April 18th, so that when we get to Taurus 2018, starting April 19th, you're ready. All right. We're going to move on. going to move on to Mercury Retrograde Reflection. Take out that energy for you. All right. So, April 15th, as I already stated, Mercury go, the planet Mercury goes technically direct. Though, I don't know the exact degrees, so it's going to take, odds are, it's going to take some time for it to catch traction for forward movement to really kick in. So it could be up to a week, up to April 22nd. So just keep that in mind. So we we'll want to take a look at the energy that you received for Mercury Retrograde. And then I pulled another energy for you for Mercury Direct. And then compare them. So therefore, we have Mercury Retrograde Reflection. So you had the energy of commitment. Hopefully not feeling uneasy. 
in your skin. Then you have the energy of actually you had the end the you, you actually received the energy of Aquarius. Now that is just like light bulb just dawned on me. It's perfect. That's perfect for you. So whatever experience this is what this means. Whatever ex whatever experience you had during Mercury retrograde, let's say the main period, March 22nd through April 15th. The good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked it was exactly what you needed because you received the energy of tomorrow, Aquarius. You're all about tomorrow. You know, I make a joke, Tomorrowland and Disney because I'm a Disney geek. But it's all about tomorrow. It's hope. It's inspiration. Brotherhood, sisterhood. We're all energetically connected. You know, you know the drill. You are Aquarius. So you're going to take those experiences or lack of during Mercury retrograde or whatever reflections you, information you gained or rose up from within you and go, go with it, fly with it, run with it, run with it, April 15th and onward. If you felt like you were, you have wasted, wasted some time and energy, you're not going to want to do that anymore as of April 15th onward. Okay? I realize that, you know, the months of January, February, March, and the first two weeks of April. Uh, a little bit harem scarum, a little very heightened energy. And the energy that you actually received for March, your overall energy, was a very active energy. So I'm sure you were you were stirred up. Or a lot happened for you, either a lot occurred to you in March, or a lot of conclusions you came from within during March. Excuse me. So this is a great energy and sign that, as Walt would say, keep moving forward. This is it. Okay? Hope and inspiration should be coming back. Okay? As of April 15th. All right. Good for you. All right, now we're going to move on to Taurus. Take out the energy for you. Okay, April 19th, the sun enters the astrological sign of Taurus. Taurus 2018 is April 19th through May 19th. We have as our weak energy opportunity, that same energy, which is great because this is all carries the tone for the month, that, that energy of opportunity, the day energy, which is very nice, and energy, this is a month to get out and about. There's no way around that one. It's the energy of socializing and networking and of joining a group or organization. And, you know, you have that energy of relationship and or living space. So relationship-wise, whether you want a romance or not, you still should get out and about. You don't have to be a politician, but you might want to shake some hands and kiss some babies. Um, really get out and about and mingle in a jingle. Join a group or organization and get involved. And get involved and participate. If you're already involved in a group or organization and you like it there, it doesn't have to be large, by the way. You enjoy it, great. Get more involved. Participate more. Okay? Interact more. Great realization is coming to you this month. Taurus 2018. Great realization. It's been there all along, but it's like light bulb. It just like, it flashes and you're like, this is where I am. This is where I belong. This is where I'm supposed to be. Whether it's actually where you are at the moment or you know where that place exists and you will get your happy hips there hopefully sooner as opposed to later. Okay? All right. Very good. Looks like a very good month for you. Get out and about. Socialize. Network. Mingle and a jingle. All right. We're going to move on. 
going to move on to the Scorpio full moon. Take out that energy for you. All right, Scorpio full moon occurs on April 29th. We're going to feel it the strongest, the full moon week of April 26th through May 2nd. So it leads into the beginning of the next month, May. We have as our week energy, cooperation, collaboration, partnership, friendship, And for you, it definitely is envisioning what you would like to create, manifest, attract into your life. Definitely it is for you. The day energy is the opening of the heart chakra, the beginning stages of the element of water, which is love, passion, creativity, spirituality. Very nice. For some people, it will be news of love. The Psychic Insight theme for the Scorpio full moon is, do we see the glass half empty or half full? That's our perspective now, isn't it, right? And then you receive the energy of, it's a slower energy, so it might be a bit of a, hopefully not a bit of a downer, but a, a slowdown. April 26th through May 2nd. A little bit of a slowdown. It's reflection time. It's review time. It's temporary. Okay, it's temporary. Do you, do you need to make sense of what happened or what didn't happen during Mercury retrograde, March 22nd through April 15th, when it comes to matters of the heart or your happiness? Maybe. This would be a great week to do so. Things slow down. It's almost like you're lovingly being forced to, even though it's for your higher self, higher good, I should say, to reflect that week, April 26th through May 2nd. You know, uh, not as a punishment, but, you know, see, see the role that you played. Because once we acknowledge that, that self-power, self-realization, then we just, we, we live happier lives because then we don't repeat unhealthy patterns. I know it's easier said than done, but this is definitely a week where you're pausing, you're reflecting, and then you leap once again as of May 3rd, okay? I do not see this as um, negative at all, actually. It's just a week. This too shall pass, okay? Even though I don't feel it's negative at all. All right. Now we're going to go to your overall message, which is quite nice, I have to say. All right, so like I said, there's not much light when I'm filming this. Sorry, guys and gals. So this is coming from the Vice Versa Tarot Tarot deck. Beautiful deck. Okay. And you received... <laughs> very nice card. You received number three of the Major Arcana, the Empress. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this, even though the light isn't great. So that is the front of the card. Beautiful. And that is the... Without the glare, that is the back. Okay? So, if you're a subscriber on the e-newsletter list, and you still can, go to, go to our website, link below if you're watching on YouTube. Go to link contact on our website, and you can subscribe there. So, if you're a subscriber on our e-newsletter list, you can leave me a message, a comment below. Leave me a comment below on a YouTube video of what you think this card represents for you for April 2018. And I will respond with a mini, mini channeled message from Spirit. One of the many perks of being on our e newsletter list. Being on our e newsletter list, you also. Also, automatically receive a discount. I'm actually having a sale called Down the Rabbit Hole for Mercury Retrograde, March 22nd through April 14th. It also allows me to stay in touch with you, give you any updates with me, my schedules, my services, what spirit wants to convey to us collectively, universally. Okay. So... 
I would say this overall, this month, April 2018, you're going to make sense of everything from March 2018 because you had a very busy, active energy last month as your overall message. So I would say this month you're going to make sense of it and you're going to be seeking and getting closer, depending, you know, each... Everyone is different. Either seeking, getting closer, or finding emotional fulfillment this month, either consciously or subconsciously. Okay? Sounds good to me. All right. So in closing, I'd just like to say thank you for tuning in and watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below on YouTube. I have the comments where it has to be reviewed first so I don't miss anyone. Don't miss any comments because I was missing some comments. That's why I did that. And, you know, do whatever feels proper to you. Subscribe to our e-newsletter list. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe this video. Thank you very much for those who do. Donate. Have a psychic session with myself and my guides. Okay? I hope you have a great month. I hope to see you real soon. You take care. You definitely have the potential. Okay? All right. Take care. Bye.